Good morning, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripty Guy, and today I want to talk a little bit about measuring the performance of event log queries. So as you probably know by now, there were two commandlets that we can use to query the event log. For instance, we can use get when event and we can use get event log. Now, get event log only works against traditional event logs such as the application security, the system log, whereas get event will work against the traditional logs, but it will also work against the ETL logs, the trace logs, and stuff like that. And so, therefore, you know, get um, when event is a lot more flexible. But how do these things compare in performance? And so, if I'm doing queries, then I need to to know is this efficient or is it not and so I can type you know get event log and I can specify the log as application and I can press enter and go it goes along and along and I can just kind of look at it and see you know but um, what I really need to do is to actually measure how long does this thing take. Now, spooling it to the console, you know, this is a client-side operation that can take a considerable amount of time just because we're having to roll all of this data here. But that's not exactly the amount of time. That's a different operation than the query itself. So what I really want to know is how long does that command itself take? And uh, to do that, we have the measure command uh, commandlet. And uh, so I type measure command, and then I specify my expression that I want to measure. Now, this expression has to go into a um, script block, a couple of curly brackets. And so then I need to type my command. Now, one of the things that's real important is that if I mess this command up, I won't necessarily tell this. It'll just come back like really quick. And so I don't know if that is the error or the command itself. So what I like to do is to actually type the command first, work them out, make sure that they work properly. And then when it comes time to actually measure it, then I um, I'd like to um, to just cut and paste it in here. That way, I know that my command is going to work properly. So this is going to read every event in the application log, and I press enter, and uh, it comes back. And notice that it came back really, really quick. So it took uh, one second and 25 milliseconds. So total time here 1.0 blah blah blah. Total milliseconds 1,025. So this command, even though this is reading the entire application log, this command actually comes back pretty darn quick. Um, and I was actually really surprised when I did this. Well, what about this um, uh, get when event? This is that other commandlet that is a lot more difficult to use. And uh, how, does, uh, how does this thing compare uh, and supposed to this? And I actually expected uh, that this command would be a lot faster. And uh, so, um, so I want to uh, cop uh, copy this command and um, then paste it over here. And so we can see measure command expression, my script block, get one event, and I have to give it the hash table at log name equals application. And so I press enter. And you can already see that this is taking longer. And um, like, like I said, I was really surprised, you know, because I actually expected that get when event would be faster. I mean, it's a newer commandlet. Um, it's more difficult to use. So I would think that I should get a nice uh, performance increase uh, coming back from this. And dude, look at this. I mean, this is actually, um, I was like shocked when I seen this. So the first command took 1 second and 25 milliseconds. The second command took 22 seconds and 750 milliseconds. So you know, t over 20 times slower. Yeah, and this is running locally on my uh, Windows 10 laptop. Now, if I was to try to do this remotely against you know larger larger logs, you know on servers or something like this, this can this can really really be significant. I mean, 20 times, you know, the difference between one second and 22 seconds is huge. Well, um, as I say, you know, major bummer on that one. Well, so what about now if I start to uh, filter things out? You know, so um, so I want to look now, you know, at uh, how long does it take, you know, if I'm only interested in errors. 
And uh, so again, I am a paste measure command, get event log, application log, uh, entry type error. Easy, simple command to type. I press it in. Yeah, boom. This time it was under a second, 898 milliseconds. Uh, when I ran it earlier on my other, um, you know, uh, for my um, scripting guy blog, it took 827 milliseconds. So, you know, this is very fast, you know, less than a second. And um, so, so that, that looks good. So how, how is get when event, you know, going to measure up to this? And uh, so, so now I come over and... Um, yeah, I, I love the way the clipboard works sometimes. So copy this and uh, paste it there. And so uh, get one event log name application level two. Uh, so we're doing the same uh, type of uh, type of query. And uh, press enter. This time it came back at 811 milliseconds. This is a remarkable difference. So this time this command was actually faster than the other one. So whereas the first command using get one event and just the log took 22 seconds, this time it took less than a second, and it was quicker than the, the get event log command. So clearly, we want to add parameters uh, when we are when we are using get one event. Well, uh, so now we're going to uh, to look for a specific um, yeah entry. Um, so I'm going to use get uh, get event log. And um, this time I'm going to look for a specific error. And uh, so let's get over here, clear the screen, uh, press enter. And so uh, uh, this time it took, say, 33. So you can see there's not much difference here, you know, between, you know, filtering out, you know. So once I say uh, I look for an error type, look for the instance ID, you know, this is about as you know, quick as uh, this gets. Um, so uh, that last time I ran this command, it was 827. This time it's 833. You know, um, pretty darn fast. Um, and uh, so let's see what happens uh, with uh, get, um, you know, get event log. Or, or I, I'm sorry, get one event. So um, when I run, uh, when I run get one event, Uh, I would uh, I would think you know that um, I actually was thinking that it would uh, take um, you know take some more time uh, or something like that yeah you know, so let's go over here get one event um, looking for level two and uh, ID uh, equals um, 490 and um, press enter remember you've got to get this right and uh, I press enter, and this time it came up at 66 milliseconds. So this is just remarkably fast, much, much, much more efficient. Yeah, so this is actually was contrary to my expectation. I thought that as I added more parameters to get one event, that it would cause it to uh, to take more time in filtering out, but we can actually see that get one event is optimized, you know, for doing more precise queries. Yeah, so you don't want to use this to read the entire event log. Um, you want to use it to look for very specific um, yeah, instances, very specific events. And so this is why we use the, uh, the measure command, because um, at least for me, yeah, quite often I'm proven wrong in my assumptions. So I'm Ed Wilson, uh, the Microsoft Scripted Guy, and um, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening.